Hi, this is Brian Wickland coming to you from Garfinkel Schwartz here in Maitland, Florida. Uh, we specialize in Defense Base Act work, um, helping overseas contractors that get injured. So I'd like to take a look at what's going on overseas and with world conflicts that may be coming up um, just for, to, be, to put on everybody's radar. Uh, these are summaries that are based on what we've read in the news, gathered from government sources, um, the, defense, the Department of Defense, military, and some impartial sources that study world conflicts. Um, it's kind of what we like to keep track of so that our clients or our potential clients know what's going on and they can get the help that they need once they get injured in one of these remote areas. The next and most mysterious and perplexing country that we may be involved with is Syria. Uh, it's very hush-hush as to what's going on in Syria right now. There have been reports that have been retracted. There have been reports that people don't believe. So Syria is a hotbed of controversy and it is becoming kind of secret, which makes us here at Garfinkel Schwartz a little worried that something might actually really been, be going on there that might be really bad uh, because of all the secrecy that's been going on. Um, basically at this point Syria is overrun by ISIS. There are reportedly 300 U.S. troops and special forces and there are also between 20 and 30,000 Islamic state, state fighters um, along with the U.S. troops in Syria to see what's exactly going to go on. Why are we in Syria? There's a civil war and multiple sides have fought for, for control of Syria since 2011. The Islamic State has fought the Shiites, Christians, and fellow Sunnis while controlling large areas of the country. Russia originally supported Syrian President Bahar al-Assad because of a Russian need to protect a nearby military base. Actually, according to the New York Times, the U.S. and Russia have a tentative agreement to cooperate against the Nusra Front and the Islamic State external involvement. And involvement um, through, through a, a, a lot of different coalitions and in countries, including the U.S., is continuously increasing in Syria. One of the big reasons why the U.S. is involved in Syria is because the situation there has led to more than 4 million Syrian refugees and migrants. Tens of thousands of Syrians are stranded and dying from starvation and dehydration in the Syrian desert. And there have been really no successful methods by anyone else for delivering aid um, to them because ISIS has been destroying each attempt um, at, at trying to help these people. So we're going to keep a very, very close eye on Syria. The final one I want to talk to you about, there are a bunch of other conflicts, but I just wanted to highlight the ones that, I, that, I, that we felt here at Garfinkel Schwartz were the most pressing and important. Um, that's the civil war in Libya. The civil war in Libya is critical and it's also getting worse. Libya became troubled after the 2011 killing of dictator Mohammed Gaddafi. Libya has been split into two governments and parliaments with a range of tribes and militias, which means it is completely unstable. Uh, there's a limited number of U.S. troops now in Libya working with more than 5,000 foreign troops and basically there have been more than 400,000 displaced people in Libya. The self-proclaimed Islamic State has complicated a power struggle between various factions including the UN-backed government of National Accord. So basically in a nutshell, Syria and Libya are looking like very dangerous places for overseas contractors to, to enter into. Um, with that in mind, just basically because of my work as lead counsel here at Garfinkel Schwartz working with people under the Defense Base Act. Um, whether you're working anywhere near these areas, the East China Sea, the South China Sea, South Korea, Iraq, Syria, Libya, Afghanistan, or anywhere else in the world, if you're a contractor and you're currently not injured, um, you seriously put, should consider consulting with Garfinkel Schwartz for free or any other lawyer that actually knows what they're doing in terms of being a Defense Base Act attorney. Um, that, that just, that's just so that you know what your rights are in these crazy countries and these places that, that, that are kind of third world type situations. You want to know your rights ahead of time in case something bad happens. And the best way to do that is to contact an attorney that knows what they're talking about in terms of your, what your rights are under the Defense Base Act, if God forbid you got injured. We hope you stay safe wherever you're working or soon going to leave to work. And no matter what the job, if you're traveling in one of these dangerous zones, um, you really, you really got to be prepared for what, what challenges may lay ahead, including any types of getting into harm's way, either mentally or physically, and not knowing what the process is and, and how a lot of people just get left behind and got, get sent back with a plane ticket and they don't have no idea how to seek treatment or what to do under the federal law. So you can call us anytime you want. I hope this is um, educational for you. You can call us anytime. Um, 
day or night, regardless of whether you're injured or not, just to talk about certain things. If you want some, inf some more information, I can definitely try to help lead you if you're interested in these areas. Um, otherwise, please stay safe. Again, this is Brian Wicklund with Garfinkel Schwartz. Um, have a great day and thanks for your time.